Are you looking for the best paracore survival bracelet of this year? Look no further. When you're all alone in the wilderness and you have to use your instincts to survive, a paracore bracelet is quickly going to become your best friend. So we've put together the best paracore survival bracelets available on the market today. Ranging from the most basic to the ultimate survival bracelet, these are the most superb options money can buy. The Onion Survival Parasaw is a paracord bracelet with an embedded wire saw that is designed for emergency use in survival situations. Strong Nylon 550 paracord houses the durable tungsten carbide coated saw. This versatile wire saw can be used for essential tasks, cutting tree limbs for an emergency shelter, making tinder to start a life-saving fire. The paracord can be used for lashing corners for a survival shelter, starting fires with a bow drill. The seven inner strands of the paracord are also useful for fishing line or makeshift sewing thread. CRKT knives and tools are fully backed by our limited lifetime warranty. The Parasaw Survival Bracelet from CRKT comes in three colors and two sizes. It is an essential tool for emergency survival situations. This is the Bear Grill Survival Bracelet from Gerber. It's a bracelet that features 12 feet of braided paracord that can be used in any number of survival emergencies. It comes with a built-in whistle to signal for help when you're stranded out in the wild. Just having this on your wrist could save your life. It's easily adjustable with just one hand, and there's a strap to keep the whistle tucked in tight. This is the Bear Grill Survival Bracelet. have the edge with the new Paraclaw knife bracelet. Carries discreetly and deploys instantly in any situation. I'm Michael Janich, founder of Martial Blade Concepts and co-host of the Best Defense TV series. One of the biggest challenges of carrying a weapon for personal defense is finding a carry method that works all the time, no matter the situation. The Paraclaw from Outdoor Edge solves this problem in a unique way by keeping a small but very potent knife instantly accessible at all times even if you find yourself grabbed, choked, or in some other disadvantaged position. The Paraclaw combines a paracord bracelet with a patent-pending buckle design that conceals a compact, extremely sharp hawkbill blade. The buckle holds the blade securely, yet allows it to be drawn quickly and easily when needed. Once it's drawn, the body of the bracelet forms the handle of the knife, allowing it to cut with surprising power for its size. A T-post on the buckle links to an adjustable length loop so it can be put on the wrist safely with the blade secured in the buckle. The Paraclaw is available in several sizes and colors. The Paraclaw was developed by a professional bounty hunter to wear on the wrist as a handgun retention tool. It can be instantly accessed and drawn very quickly, even in the middle of a violent struggle, making it an effective blade in many close quarter situations. While it's not intended as a primary weapon, in a self-defense situation, the Paraclaw offers advantages that no other knife can. Advantages that could very well save your life. Today at CRKT, we are taking a look at the adjustable paracord bracelet. This is a Tom Stokes design. What's unique about it is it has this nice little adjustable 
clasp here that allows you three different settings as far as adjusting the paracord bracelet around your wrist. The length of the bracelet is nine inches. And the way it works is you just decide on how big or small you want that, take the paracord over the top and tighten it down. So if you're going on that inner one, maybe you uh, have been on a diet, lost some weight or something, you can tighten that up nicely. So it gives you a little bit more versatility on your paracord bracelet. These fit super nice on the hand. Let me put this one on for you just to give you an idea. Just take it and uh, makes it a little easier to get them on too. If you've ever dealt with those knots and beads and stuff, this makes it super easy to get on as well as to get off. Just pretty simple like that. So there you have it. That's the basic gist of it. There's nine and a half feet of paracord in here. It weighs 0.9 ounces and you've got a lot of a couple different flavors and colors with it. You've got a black version, kind of your black tactical, as well as a camo edition with the brown, green, and tan. These are all the same length, nine inches long, and uh, they've got about nine and a half feet of paracord in them. You've got a pink and a black, so different styles and flavors, as well as a green. Now, it should be noted that Tom Stokes designed the paracord bracelet to coincide with these paracord accessories that he came out with last year. This has a uh, compass on there, as well as a fire rod, a ferro rod there for striking. So the adjustable paracord bracelet is compatible with those accessories, which is nice. Gives you a lot more versatility on your paracord bracelet. So that's the basic gist of it. If you need to get it undone, the, you basically have to undo the weave. It's probably easiest to cut it or you can pick with your fingers and unpick it in there. Paracord can be used for new shoelaces, can be used to hang up tarps, tents, for bow drills, fishing line. This does have the seven inner strands in there for a lot of versatility with these bracelets. This is the Bear Grill survival lanyard from Gerber. It has six feet of braided paracord that can be unwound for any emergency task and a whistle to signal for help. It easily attaches to packs, keychains, or can be carried in your pocket. This is the Bear Grylls Survival Lanyard. This is the CRKT Quick Release Paracord Bracelet, and this is how it works. You release the badge from the loop, find the two pull tabs, and release the paracord. Now you've got emergency paracord for survival shelter situations or for a tourniquet, save lives. Okay, to rewrap your quick release paracord bracelet, you start with the CRKT badge and you want to make sure that both ends of the paracord are even. So you start with the badge and the first thing that you want to do is make a slip knot. So the way that that works is you cross over the left cord and create this rabbit hole right here. See this right here where my finger goes through? Okay. Now make a loop on the right side and go up through that hole and you'll create the slip knot. The trick is, is to always keep the long side of the cord on the outside of the loop. So you're going to do a series of successive loops. We're going to go on the left, si left side here and pull tight and see how the long side of the loop is on the outside or the long side of the cord is on the outside of the loop. Then we're going to go to the right side, the right loop here and pull that tight. Make sure you pull those tight, okay? That'll start your cord wrap. And see how the long side of the cord is on the outside of the loop? Then we're gonna do the left loop. And just make sure you tighten these, tighten the cord up real well so you're getting a nice tight wrap while you're doing these successive loops and always keep that long side of the cord on the outside of the loop. 
and I think that you'll see um, this cord bracelet here. Take a look, start to really take shape. What you want to do is pop the badge through the loop and pull tight and you're good to go. So this is the rewrapped version here. Okay, got yourself a paracord bracelet. Pop it on the wrist there, take a look. All right, awesome. And you've got the, here's the production model version that you'll see um, in the stores. Now this wrap is pretty good, not bad. Not quite as tight, but pretty good for the rewrap. And that's how you rewrap and use the CRKT quick release paracord bracelet.